Ivor, and she shared the moment with them. Showed them gold medal. Here, mom and dad. <laughs> Amy and John. Sarah, this is Sarah. Sarah, with, a, with an H. <laughs> and I think we all know her name by now. Uh, for the fifth time, two U.S. lady skaters on the Olympic podium, but few expected it to be Sarah Hughes on top and Michelle Kwan in third. Tonight was to be the crowning achievement of the greatest skater of her generation. Michelle Kwan had won it all except for Olympic gold. And on the night when her dream was to come true, she fell short of a nation's expectations. And of her own. Sasha Cohen came with her own dream. But some dreams are only meant to come true in time and Sasha will have to wait four more years for her moment. Maybe this was the time for 23-year-old Irina Slutskaya. Skating last, she was positioned to win it all, but the gold would slip from her grasp. The strange thing about being overlooked is that sometimes when the spotlight finally shines on you, it can be blinding. Sarah Hughes was the forgotten one, lost in Michelle and Sasha. She burst from the shadows with a performance that dreams are made of. Dreams that would come true on a magical night in Salt Lake. Well, it was a magical night indeed, and uh, you have to have some sympathy, though, for Michelle Kwan, Tara Lipinski, the teenager in Nagano, and now again she sees 16-year-old Sarah Hughes, where she expected to stand on that top podium. Well, it was just an amazing evening. I mean, the skate of an Olympic career. I mean, when you think of Sarah Hughes doing what no woman has ever done before, landing two triple-triple combinations in a program and skating the toughest program that she's ever done, she made it harder after the Nationals because she knew that she'd need something extra to get on the podium, and she stole the show. Uh, we all have to feel for Michelle Kwan. Everyone expected yeah. her to come away with the gold, and, and again, it's ice, and it just, sometimes it just doesn't hold. And, and uh, tragedy, I'm sure, in her eyes, but still, how many times can you stand up there on an Olympic podium and accept a medal? a great accomplishment from a phenomenal athlete. And Sandra, how important was the, the reconfiguring of that long program by Robin Wagner and Sarah? I think it meant a lot because by, her program was the most difficult by far, but I thought what was more special about Sarah and, and, and her whole performance this evening was that she wasn't out for anything except the performance. Mm. And I thought one of the sweetest moments of the entire evening was after she skated when she went over to her coach at the boards, Robin didn't grab her and hug her. She turned her around and said, look, look at what you've done. Look at the audience standing for you. Look at all those flowers. That's what you've done. Well, it was a night we'll long remember as well. Excellent skating. And with all that the New York area has been through, one of their own wins the Olympic gold medal. Dan? Thanks a lot, Tom. And we'll have much more here on the Olympic Tonight Show, including a conversation with the gold medalist, Sarah Hughes, and silver medalist Bodie Miller stops by the plaza to talk with Pat. But first, earlier tonight, the E in E Center stood for ecstatic, as in an ecstatic bunch of Canadian hockey players receiving their gold medals. They beat the U.S. women today. Were aware of what had to happen as Slitskaya took the ice. You got help from Michelle Kwan because Kwan needed to finish third or worse for you to win the gold medal. Were you aware of what was at stake when Slitskaya took the ice as the final skater? You know, um, I, I knew mathematically that if it was I won, then Irina, then Michelle, then maybe I, then I could win the gold. But you know, the chance of that happening is highly, highly unlikely. And you know, I I, I was just um, hoping to get a medal. I just wanted third place, and I would have been really happy. So, you know, I came here to represent the games, and I went out and skated for the pure joy of skating, not to win a gold medal, but you know, to have this medal and to just to just have that such a special moment and to skate like that was it was incredible. You come from a huge family, uh, a great neck, New York, five brothers yeah. and sisters. 
I know they were all here. Have you had a chance to talk about what happened tonight with them? You know, I talked to my brother before I skated, both my brothers, and they're like, oh, we, they don't really know too much about skating, but they're like, oh, we hear you have a very, very difficult program planned. And I was like, yeah, so, you know, if I mess up, I really, really, really mess up, but if I do well, it will be great. And they're like, yeah, you go get them, girl. And so, you know, I talked to them after, and they think they were just awestruck because they never really seen me skate like that before. Well, I don't think they've ever seen me skate at all, but. <laughs> well, you picked a pretty good night to turn in the skate of your life. Congratulations, Sarah Hughes, Olympic gold medalist. And I imagine that gold medal is going to look pretty good around your neck at Great Neck North High School when you show it off. Thanks yes. For, Sarah, thanks for joining us. And once again, congratulations. Thank you very much, Dan. Well, when these games began, the magic number for the United States was 13. That had been the most medals the U.S. ever won at a Winter Games. As of tonight, the U.S. has reached the 30-medal mark. Great night for Sarah Hughes.